Hey guys, this is Navinia. Welcome back to Navin Automation Lab. So one more question on SVG graphs. Somebody asked this question to me via email that can you please automate that COVID cases in India and there is a graph for that. So for example, let's see if you go to Google and you search for COVID cases in India and this is a graph and the requirement is that you have to keep moving the graph. Let's see since 14th March 2020 and you just keep moving and then uh, you have to capture whatever the text is available in this particular tooltip or whatever you call it you have to capture total number of cases new cases and seven day average uh, cases that you have to find out okay and this is a this is an svg graph interesting one you can capture the data you can pass the data to some database or you can do some analytics or data analytics over here like that you can do some web scrapping also uh, for certain use cases so let's see how to do it with selenium so i'll directly do one thing i'll launch this uh, url directly with the over here so driver.get method i'll be using it and this is my url that i'll be using it over here okay so then uh, i'll try to see that what kind of uh, uh, elements are there i can clearly see that there are some svg elements i can see that see this is the svg element and then uh, i'll start creating the svg okay so svg we use xpath and svg xpath will be different so i'll be using this class also and i'll be writing a typical svg uh, i'll be writing with this with the local name so if you don't know how to create the svg xpath please go and watch my video the local name is equal to uh, svg actually so i'll be writing okay this is svg and there are 104 svgs are available so i have to differentiate on the basis of class so I'll be writing where class is equal to this. Now it's giving you one of three. So this is your first graph, SVG. This is your second graph and this is your third graph. So we are bothered about the first graph first. Okay. And then these two graphs you can take as an assignment later on. Okay. So I'm taking this graph first and let's see how exactly it is working. So from this graph, I have to go to, let's see, slightly scroll it down and uh, see, this is quite difficult. <coughs> SVG is getting ended over here and we can just check that under this particular div which is ended over here and uh, okay let's do one thing let me just slightly go up under this uh, g where i can just open that and this g is having many rectangles are available you can see because it's this every dot is actually made of this rectangle something like this so here you can see rect you can collect from this svg so how will you collect that so I'll be writing this is a star name, which is uh, equal to rect over here. Perfect. And uh, here it is giving you one of 50, 554. So first like this. And then if you see the last 554th element is actually coming for this element, right? For this last one. So what I do that uh, I can do, I can create a capture group here, right? For the for the okay for the xpath for the first svg so instead of writing like this because i have to capture all the rectangles from the first graph only so i'll do one thing i'll start creating a capture group here i can use the concept of indexing or the positioning it means go to the first first svg element and then you take this one then i'm getting only 550 here perfect and then you can see that the last one 550 is this one which is this one okay which is pointing to somewhere over here Right, so I'll do one thing. I'll just capture this uh, compute expert and uh, I'll write it over here first of all. And then I'll be collecting all the rectangles with the help of driver.findElements by dot expert. And this is my expert that I'll be using it. And this will give you the list of web element. So I'll say, okay, fine, list of uh, web element. For example, this is my uh, whatever graph list got created. Okay and uh, import everything java.util and the web element also you have to import and then i'll do one thing i'll start a for loop here and i'm going to iterate this particular list with the e and this is my graph list now i'll do one thing that uh, <coughs> first i'll see is it really moving there or not so i'm going to create one actions class object also because i have to move right guys moving from here to here so for this mouse movement or move to this particular element we have to use actions class so i'm going to create the object of actions class here and pass the driver here import your actions class from selenium 
and then I'll do one thing I'll come here and I'll simply write a dot uh, move to element which element this particular element from the list one by one and then dot perform so let's see it is actually moving or not and then we will try to capture the uh, tooltip text so first let's see is it really moving there or not so here can you see that the graph is moving selenium is actually moving the uh, moving the dots okay see 13 14 17 may like that and then it will keep moving over there and right now we are not capturing anything we are not printing anything from the tooltip so that's perfectly fine here and see you can move your mouse it really it won't impact this okay so it will not disturb this particular uh, move to element see one by one i'm not doing it see this is my cursor here i'm not doing anything selenium is actually doing moving from one location to another location dot by dot rectangle to rectangle one by one like that okay now perfect so this is absolutely working fine this is what i want now only thing is spending is that when you move you have to capture the things from this particular tooltip see this particular tooltip right so i have to find out the x path or some locator for this tooltip so right click on it and go to inspect and uh, here what you can see is uh, uh, see this is a div and this is uh, another div where you can see this div so it means this entire tooltip is made of this div there is no svg i can use this class so i'll do one thing maybe i can write div at the rate class is equal to this which is giving you one of one nice and then i'll do one thing i'll move over this tooltip this is still giving you one of one here so it means this is the x path of this each and every tooltip and this is a common x path so i'll do one thing when you move what you do driver dot find element by dot x path and x path of this tooltip and then do what you keep capturing the text from there perfect so what exactly it will do it will come to this particular div and it will capture all the text available here new cases and uh, whatever the text is available there okay let's see it is working or not and when i capture the text i'll store in a string text is equal to this and then i'll print it on the console as well and let's run it again so i'll just slightly move it here and see oh nice see the data is coming day by day date by date the data is coming and it's going from 9 11th 20 22 like that and then the data is also displaying over here you can see that perfect the script is still running in the background you can see that and the data is coming absolutely fine and uh, perfect so let it run completely let's see it is really going to the today's date is what today is 14 september the last data is available till 13 september let's see the data is coming there or not so see this is my mouse i'm not moving it and then the entire graph is moving done by selenium actually so the movement of uh, one element to another element or to each and every element is done by selenium see the graph is moving it will go to the peak the peak happened um this year only so let's see see it's going and then it's climbing over the graph and go to the peak peak was in i think 11th or 12th may and then going down and then it will check see there is a, a low peak also and then high peak as well see this uh, there is a low peak see this and then high peak and then it will just and then it will stop after 13 september perfect so here you can see that the last data that we captured here 7 11 12 and that is your 70 13 september data that we capture here can you see here like this so this is absolutely working fine it's a very simple scenario this is actually interviewer asked this question in one of the uh, companies in bangalore and that candidate was my student and then he actually solved it but he could not uh, make this thing and it was very simple so i hope you liked it please experiment this thing i'm giving you an assignment let's see who does who write the script for these two graphs what you just need to do you have to start moving from here capture whatever tooltip data is available you need to capture that this is slightly complex guys because there are no svg elements internally available for rectangle so you have to think about it it's a very nice scenario just check that okay and you have to keep printing the text from the tooltip same thing for this guy also this is your vaccination graph and this is your total test graph and that i have already covered the new cases and death already i have captured there so let's see who does that so that's all for this particular video i hope you liked it if you liked it please subscribe to the channel there are a lot of good videos are coming and uh, i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all